Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and from our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. Right now, somewhere around the world, there is probably a woman who is finding out that she is pregnant, that she's going to have a baby. It is an ordinary thing. It happens each and every day somewhere across the globe. It may be a doctor telling her, it may be a home pregnancy test by which she finds out. But it's an ordinary thing, an ordinary part of life that happens each and every day. But one was different. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. The angel said to her, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Mary said to the angel, how will this be since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you, for nothing will be impossible for God. That ordinary, everyday event of a woman finding out that she is pregnant in Christ Jesus became extraordinary. Because it wasn't just any baby conceived in her womb by any father. The baby was God himself, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, the ordinary thing of being pregnant became extraordinary. Nine months later, that same young woman found herself surrounded by cattle and sheep and arguably an anxious husband as she gave birth in an unlikely place. Then again, we call it unlikely because the ordinary for us is in a hospital with doctors standing by or maybe at home with a midwife. Giving birth is an ordinary event, except for that one. That one where the child who came into the world was extraordinary was God himself. In Christ Jesus, the ordinary becomes extraordinary. Each and every day, we have conversations with each other. We share words of comfort, reassurance, sometimes words of rebuke. We speak to each other, and sometimes we hear, and it makes a difference. Other times... The words seem to go in one ear and out the other. And yet, some words are different. The pastor stands before the congregation and says to you, in the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all of your sins. And in Christ Jesus, the ordinary becomes extraordinary because those words, as simple and ordinary as they sound, are filled with the power of Christ. And when those words are spoken to you, it's not just words that go in one ear and out the other, words that are heard and quickly forgotten. They are words that change you, that take your sin away, that make you right with God. Every day, people get up and hop in the shower. Or they take a bath, or they do a bird bath. They wash themselves. Fill the sink, fill the tub, run the water. It's a regular part of life in a polite society. And yet one washing is different. When that simple water is joined together with the word of Christ, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The ordinary becomes extraordinary. And it's not a washing away of dirt from 
the person standing there, whether a tiny infant, a teenager, or a full-grown adult. It's not the same kind of washing that happens at home in your bathroom. No. In Christ Jesus, the ordinary becomes extraordinary. And that water, together with that word, washes away your sin. Puts faith in your heart. Joins you together with Christ Jesus. Connects you to his death, his resurrection. And guarantees you the gift of eternal life. Just this morning, on the way into church, I stopped by the grocery store. Picked up some bread for tomorrow because I was worried I wasn't going to have time to make any today. Countless homes around the world tomorrow will sit and they will break bread. Okay, fine. A lot of us are going to cut the loaves, but <clears throat> bread will be taken and shared. It's an ordinary thing of life. It happens every day. It's happened for thousands of years. People take and eat bread. And yet here at this table, something different happens. And I know, I know, this isn't the ordinary bread you use. Because this reminds us that what happens here is not ordinary, but extraordinary. In Christ Jesus, simple bread. Simple wine. Wine, by the way, it comes in a great big giant jug from the liquor store. It's not some special sacramental wine. It's the ordinary stuff you could go and buy yourself. And yet in Christ Jesus, the ordinary becomes extraordinary. His word, take, eat, this is my body. His word, take, drink, this is my blood. And here, what's put into your hand, what's put into your mouth, is extraordinary. It's ordinary bread and ordinary wine, but it's not just that. It is the body of Christ broken for you, the blood of Christ shed for you. Here, at his table, at his altar, into your hand, into your mouth, the ordinary and the extraordinary by a mystery of God. It's all a mystery. How does simple bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ? We don't know. But Jesus says it, and it happens. It is. How does simple water and some words join you together with Christ, take away your sins, and give you the promise, the guarantee of everlasting life? We don't know. It's a mystery. Jesus says it, and it is. How does a virgin become pregnant? How does a virgin give birth to a son? On top of that, how does God, the eternal, become a human being? We don't know. It's a mystery. God speaks, and it happens. In Christ Jesus, the ordinary becomes extraordinary. Even you and me. Ordinary people like us. God speaks his word to you. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all of your sins. Take eat the body of Christ given for you. Take drink the blood of Christ shed for you. And in Christ Jesus, ordinary people, you and me, become extraordinary. We walk about this world just like everyone else with the same faults and flaws and sins. And yet because you have Christ Jesus, and because Christ Jesus has you, you are extraordinary. You are the loved, redeemed child of God. 
in Christ Jesus, forgiven every time you repent. And at the end of this mortal life, in Christ Jesus, everlasting life with God and all the saints waits for you. Sometimes we don't feel it. Sometimes we feel absolutely, totally ordinary. And that's okay. Because you are. Because we all are. We are ordinary people. And yet at the same time in Christ Jesus, you are extraordinary. In Christ Jesus, the ordinary becomes extraordinary. A woman who becomes pregnant becomes the mother of God. God himself takes on flesh and blood. Water and the Word join you together with Christ. Simple words forgive your sins. Bread and wine is the body and blood of God Himself in your hand, in your mouth. How does the ordinary become extraordinary? We don't know. It's a mystery of faith. But then again, as the angel Gabriel said, nothing will be impossible for God. The peace of God which passes all understanding Guard and keep your hearts and minds through faith in Christ Jesus who made ordinary you extraordinary and gave you life everlasting. Amen.